Hello, this is simply about networking protocols and today we are talking about part of diff service traffic conditioner meter. Single rate three color meter, two rate three color meter. Those features are described in RFC standards 2697 uh, two, for a single rate two, uh, three colors, uh, 2698 for the two rates three colors. Let's simplify. We have three colors. It means that we have two thresholds. Until some condition happens to yellow threshold, all traffic, all packets in the traffic are green. When some condition happens to yellow threshold but didn't happen to red threshold, all packets in the traffic are yellow. When some condition happens to yellow threshold and red threshold, traffic packets in traffic became red. This condition is threshold decreased to minimum. When system starts, yellow threshold as a number equals to maximum value and red threshold as a number equals to maximum value. Then two parallel processes happens to those thresholds. One is decrement traffic received and yellow threshold if it has enough value decreased by the amount of this traffic of this packet until there is enough value in yellow threshold all packets in the traffic are green green enough green <coughs> enough once there is no enough value in the uh, yellow threshold to be decremented according to the received packet, it turns to second threshold until there is enough value in the red threshold to be decremented according to received packet, packet became yellow. Until there is enough threshold in the red threshold, packet is yellow. And only when there is no enough value in both yellow and red thresholds, packet in traffic became red, red colored. Threshold decrement formula is very simple. Metering can work in two modes of operations, packets per second or bytes per second. In case it works in packet per second mode, threshold is decremented by one for each packet. When meter is working in bytes per second mode, threshold is decremented by frame size in bytes for each received packet. That's simple. Another parallel procedure that happens to threshold is incrementing. Periodically, with some period, both red and yellow threshold being incremented by one plus one until they uh, reach maximum value. Incrementing, incrementing, incrementing every some period. And if we have single rate for incrementing single speed, this is so called CIR, C -I -R value. And this happens CRA, CIR times per second. This is single rate, three color meter. So they are incremented simultaneously. If we have individual rates for each threshold to be incremented, then for the yellow, it will be CIR times per second. For the red, it will be PIR times per second. This is two rate three color meter. That simple. And now, for the full understanding of the picture, metering happens when both process running simultaneously. System receive packets in frames and decrementing one or another or both simultaneously thresholds in the same time this periodic machine increments them and basing on the filling of this 
threshold on the value of this threshold packets being sorted to green yellow or red according to the um, procedure that we just described that simple this is this is all you need to know about metering but metering also has one more feature that sometimes can be hard to understand this is color awareness color awareness is very simple too at some processes on the system we can receive traffic with three colored frames packets simple rule packet cannot be uh, cannot receive better color that's it so if packet is pre-colored as red it's red and we don't care if packet is colored as yellow we compare it with red threshold because it can become only red or stay yellow that's it and only if packet is pre-colored as green it compared towards both thresholds because it can stay green or became yellow or red this is all you know you need to know about color awareness and this is very simple thank you have a great day